In this video, we're going to show you how to create a projected plan drawing. Now, projected plans can be used to draw plans that exist on sloping planes like we have for our roof plan here. Now, to create the projected plan, we're going to do that directly within the drawing list area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the type of drawing I want to create, and I want to create a plan projection. Now, if I wanted just one half of this roof level, which is in one plane, I would say number of planes equals one. But I would actually like both sides of this roof to appear on the same plan. So I'm going to go ahead and say number of planes equals two. The next thing I need to do, which is a little different than the other types of drawings we created thus far, is to identify the plan using three different nodal coordinates for each side of the ridge. So here, right on my screen, I could click my plan location. So I could either use a pull down menu over here, or I can just dynamically select a node. So here I have three nodes that represent my first sloping plane of my roof. And then I'm going to use my cursor to select some other nodes. Now again, you can zoom in and out or rotate the plan if that makes it a little easier for you to make that selection. Once you're happy with the nodes you created, you're going to tell the program what scale you want to create it as. We're going to draw a full section, and then we're going to add this to our drawing list. So let's go ahead and do that again for our higher roof plan. Now this time I am going to kind of rotate my model just a little bit so I can see that area. Maybe I'll even turn it upside down a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to again create a plan projection. We'll do two planes. And then I'm going to click on my notes. So I'm going to do one side first. And then I'm going to do the other side. Let's pick that node, that node, and that node. OK. Again, I'm going to select my scale, draw as full section. And I'm going to add this to my drawing list as well. Once I've added the plan projections to my drawing list, I can tell the program I want to draw it. Which is going to dump me over to the drawing area. So here I'm going to go to my, here's my lower roof plan. I can see all the sections were available there. And then I can go to my upper roof area. Now what is important to note is that all of the members do need to lie within the same plane when you select those nodal coordinates. And they should appear uh, correctly over here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.